good. Hi. there, were you not? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, whole life ad ad advocacy. Well, well, I heard you're making the, the case, so I wanted to know if you wanted to do two minutes on camera concerning it. Uh, sure, yeah, I'd like to uh, talk about it. Uh, Whenever you're ready. Okay. Could you give me a breath or two and explain the whole life advocacy concept from your point of view first? Well, I'm, I'm easy. I'm, Cath I'm a Knights of Columbus and I'm Catholic. Okay. I believe life begins in, conce in conception and that the real question with abortion is, is are you dealing with a human being? If you aren't dealing with a human being, then it wouldn't matter when you'd have an abortion. If you are dealing with a human being, it doesn't matter if it's elective, if it's necessary or whatever, you don't kill a person. Okay, we start with God, we're dealing with God, and then we're dealing with the mother who is a human being. Right. And we want to lower the U.S. abortion rate below 3% by having iTunes and the U.S. Congress work together to uh, legislate. Let me get you on camera. I don't have you on camera. Oh, I this my life. Let me know as soon as you're ready. Okay. You're, you're pretty tightly edited. I see you have short no, clips. Well, I don't edit at all. That's uh -huh. why I don't want to start. Until I you're see. Ready. Okay. Okay. We're here in front of the debate hall with this gentleman. Sir, your name? I'm William Hale, also known as Haji Muhammad Omar. My website is dcdelegate.com. And what brings you up here to Dartmouth today? I wanted to come to Dartmouth back before John McCain and Hillary Clinton came up here. And when they did, I said, well, there's a second for my emotions. So here I am. Now, are you here to advocate for anything in particular? Yes, uh, as you put it, the whole life advocacy uh, seems to be, in my point of view, uh, we're dealing with a human life, but first we're dealing with God, then we're dealing with the mother, and then we're dealing with the this family. Abortion we're talking about. Yeah, our goal is to lower the U.S. abortion rate below 3% by having iTunes and the U.S. Congress work together to legislate Olympic thinker drug tests so that uh, Sonia Sotomayor, who's the daughter and a Catholic of the uh, New York City methadone clinic worker and now sits on the United States Supreme Court, can work with us and we can, just like Olympic athletes take drug tests, Olympic thinkers can too. So the idea would be to try and get people to be clean, to think clean. If they know that by keeping the U.S. abortion rate below 3%, we can keep sex, drugs, and rock and roll clean, healthy, honest, open, above board, medicalized, unionized, and supervised so it's healthy and safe, yes. Now, how long have you been doing this? Well, <clears throat> about one-third of my life. And may I be so bold as to ask you, I'd say about 20 years I've been doing this. <clears throat> now, does it, does it ever get long or hard for you after all these years? A U.S. Supreme Court police officer who had been stationed in uh, Holland helped work with me on this idea because in Holland they have legalized prostitution. And we were trying to figure out together what we could do to lower the U.S. abortion rate below 3%. And we decided between the two of us in a conversation, much like you and I are having here now, uh -huh. with his experience and my theoretical desire, uh, that by putting it on the table instead of under the table, with responsible people like parishioners, clergy, uh, doctors, uh, lawyers, uh, and the iTunes band themselves, the Pied Pipers of Hamlin, 
setting the ground rules so that their lifestyle would lower the abortion rate, the crime rate, the suicide rate, down, down, down. If they go up again, the program is abolished. Now, have you, do you have a particular affiliation with a specific church or anything of that nature? I call it, uh, uh, well, Islam helped save my life. Uh, some of my, uh, I almost married two different Jewish women. Uh, I was raised in the Episcopal Church, so I was an altar boy. But I look at it as Zen, Judeo, Christian, Islam, the monotheism of the Silk Road from Ur in Iraq to Jerusalem on the Mediterranean. That Silk Road is where our unified field theory today comes from. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Well, you're welcome, sir. It's a pleasure to talking with you. Um, should I ask Peter. you? Peter, may our church be founded together. Well, I'm very happy being Catholic, but that's my website and that's my blog. You're welcome to check it out. This will be on YouTube before the end of the day or sometime tomorrow and on my blog probably Thursday or Friday. Great. Well, thank you very much, Peter. Not at all. I'll try to let Pope Benedict know. Sister to sister, how are you? Are you being brave and being fair, you guys? Let's start a stock market on Wall Street in protest. Try to keep one hand clean and free, yeah, and ready to respond and seek responses. Is there going to be any voting of any kind tonight? It looks like a ballot box. Are we going to have some voting of some kind, a straw poll or the student opinion poll tonight? Well, congratulations. Uh, may it lead to uh, peaceful happenesses.
of who's fair go heel home. What do you think to do when you hear a siren? Try to work with whom to help who get where in time, huh? Good. Way to use your arms. Way to lean into it. Good. You could sprint. Men of Harlock in the hollow, do you hear the rushing billow? Be they Danes or Saxe or yeomen, they shall bite the dust. Sister to sister. Thank you. 